I have decided to take time for my skin finally. I have left it unattended for quite a while. I make sure to eat a lot of fruits. The primary reason being I love them and obviously good health follows it. It's my go-to snack. I love fried snacks and sweets very much. Unfortunately, those increase the body fat and aids pimples on my face. I prefer having my fridge filled with fruits to avoid such cravings. My skin is textured, has pimples, scars and acne. I'm starting off with a very mild mask, which is a berry mask. I'm using an apricot scrub to cleanse my face. It is a mild everyday scrub. Once I'm done scrubbing, I use a tissue paper or a wet towel to spread warm water on my face. Most of the time, I just splash warm water on my face and dab it with my hands. This is going to open up the pores and make the mask work more effectively. I am going to let this mask stay on my face for about 10 to 15 minutes. It would dry up by then. Moisturizing the face after removing the mask is very essential. Including greens in your diet is not just a benefit for your skin but helps in overall well-being. I am cooking some fenugreek leaves today. It tastes better if you add green gram to it. I like it either ways. Make sure to wash the greens carefully as the roots might have soil trapped in them. The fenugreek stems are hard and does not get cooked properly. It's better to chop off the hard stem. Greens and vegetables are best if cooked low, else the vitamin content in them would vanish. I am cooking the leaves with some red chilies and salt in it. Once the leaves are mildly cooked, I am adding some grated coconut with turmeric, chilli powder and coconut oil. I wouldn't want to cook it for more than 2 minutes. The leaves are ready to serve. I am planning to use a green mask today. It's the same drill all over again. Cleansing with a scrub, opening up the pores with warm water, applying the mask and let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. I have started drinking more water to heal my skin. Normally, I drink 2 liters of water per day. I am trying to bring the level up to 3 liters a day. I have dry skin and it requires hydration more than anything. Increased intake of water actually shows up on your face. It helps lifting the tiredness and gives you a glow. I am not sure how far it is helpful in preventing or for that matter vanishing your scars. I have not seen much improvement there. I am assuming more water intake could make the ends meet. It is essential to meet a balanced diet for a healthy life. I am cooking a vegetable soup which is called Sambar in South India. This recipe includes pulses and a variety of different vegetables. I am adding some red chilies, onions, ginger and garlic pods along with some salt to the soaked yellow split peas. Pulses are rich in proteins and helps my pescetarian way of life. I am cooking these together in a pressure cooker and starting on the vegetables. I have picked some tomatoes, carrots, drumsticks and beans to pair with the pulse. I am adding these vegetables to the cooked pulse and pressure cooking for another whistle. To the cooked vegetables, I am adding tamarind water and samba powder. I love to add a chunk of coriander leaves to the soup. It brings out a different flavor. Also, coriander leaves are rich in iron and helps maintain blood levels in our body. It's the third day and it's time for a peel off black mask. I don't quite enjoy peel off mask. It hurts and it hurts bad. At least this one does. However, it is very helpful in removing blackheads. Unfortunately, I picked the wrong day to apply this mask. It was a busy day at work. Though I started applying the mask in the evening, 
I had to rush back to my desk and glue to it for another couple of hours to finish off work. I did not manage to wind up the black mask video very gracefully, but behind the scenes I moisturized my face very well.